Hi everyone, I'm Gabriel Zamora, and thank you so much for watching. For today's video, we are talking about why I'm wearing glasses for the intro. I just, ugh, I just love those glasses, okay? For today's video, I'm showing you what's in my travel makeup bag, and I'm gonna show you literally as I do my makeup, what products I like to carry in there. So if you wanna know exactly what I take with me when I'm traveling, keep it nice, cute, and convenient, and you want some tips as to what products you can bring as well, and you wanna quickly get ready with me, and you just wanna hang out, let's hang out, bitch. So keep on watching. I just realized my mic was not even on, so let's recreate. Hi everyone! Hi everyone! Let's begin everyone! Okay everyone, All right now I'm wearing glasses because I look mad naked. Like I don't have eyebrows, but look how cute. Don't you live? Okay, so these are the C Eyewear glasses by Style by Harouche. I'm obsessed with them. They're literally perfect for my red hair. And I've never been like such like a huge kind of like this kind of like sporty vibe person. But with this red hair, oh my god, I literally just texted to Harouche. Ah! So, but with this hair, I f***ing live. Like, I live. Like, me with red hair is a different kind of bitch. I gotta make sure that I get content with a fresh red side. Look how fresh that is. Because usually I end up dyeing my hair red and I live for it so much and I forget to film where I'm editing at the time. So I'm like, you know what? Let's just film, 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 film. And once my hair starts to grow out, then I'll edit. Like, I literally did my hair three days ago. And like, look, do you see how the root is literally already starting to grow? Like, it was bleached to the scalp. You know what? Count your blessings, girl. Count your blessings. Okay, everyone. Let's begin, everyone, right now. Do we want some outfit details? Don't we live for this look? Ah, I live! Okay, we're gonna need two things, basically. The first thing that I'm gonna show you, because I don't think we need to see it for the rest of the video, so I wanna show it in the beginning. This is by Morphe. I'm not sure what it's called. I guess it's just like a brush holder. And I got it in Vegas when I was there for Bretman's birthday, and I'm obsessed with it because literally, like, you just close it up, super easy to travel with. It's cushioned and you just carry any type of brush. You can, these are generally the brushes that I carry, but the brush holder that comes in the bag that I'm gonna show you is a little bit too small. So I like a lot of brushes and these are just extra brushes. And I like that they're just on display and you can kind of see the brush without having to dig into like a bucket of brushes. With this, everything is on display. You put all your smallest brushes in the front and all your big brushes in the back. So this clips on both sides and it stands on its own. Like, isn't that so cool? Like, so make sure that it, it doesn't like unfold type of thing. And I live, I live, I highly suggest it. For traveling is everything, like everything. Now that the brush case is out of the way, let me show you the bag that I use. So I got this in the mail. I think I gave them my address. I'm not 100% sure, but I'm obsessed. So this is the base bag. I think it's in collaboration with Shay Mitchell. I'll link it down below for sure. If you can see kind of like the finish on it. Oh, and you can't even really see it. But it's like this, pink like faux leather like pebbled skin feeling but i know it's faux right let me google this real quick before i tell you something and it's not okay so i just looked it up on the website and unfortunately there's no more pink so i'm one of the few people with a pink, pink bag there's a nude one and a black one Depends on you, aesthetics, 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 right? Okay, so this is the pink one, and it says, we made this spill-proof case so every makeup lover can stay super organized wherever they bring their beauty ritual. It has a water-resistant lining. Oh, it's easy to clean, so they call it oops-proof. Okay, the materials, it says body polyester PVC, the trim is PU, and then the lining is polyester. This is fake leather, right? I don't know, it's $58. Yeah, it has to be fake leather. Like, it can't be real leather. Like, this has to be fake. $58 is a little pricey. Let's be realistic, Gabriel. There's other ones that you can find on Amazon for sure. But this is just the one that I've been using recently. This is what it looks like. So, ooh. So see, it's literally packed to the brim. Packed to the brim. This is the one thing that I actually take out of it. It clips inside. Like, it has these little, and the brushes go here. And I kind of like that it has this. So it kind of keeps your brushes covered. And then it has a little zipper thing in the back so you can put more stuff in there. It's a little bit small for me, but if you're like more of a minimal girl and you don't need that many brushes, this is going to be ideal for you because you just clip it in. I think I want to just start with my makeup. And along the way, I'll show you kind of what I bring with me. I think that's just going to be a little bit easier, right? As we go, I'm just going to be showing you all the products when it comes to eye drops these are the two that i use make sure you just have eye drops because of that high everyone life you know what i mean okay so for lips i'm gonna start off with a lip balm this is the buxom power plump lip balm i'm obsessed with it uh i just like like how big it is because i have big old giant lips so it's ideal for me and my big old giant lip. Now, when it comes to face cream, you can definitely use a face cream that you travel with. These are the few that I go with. I have this little strobe cream that I got literally in my Ipsy Glam bag. I keep so many of these little sample products. Like you think, when am I really gonna use this? But when you're traveling, you're like, thank 
Thank God I kept this. So you'll live if you want something more stroby. This is the MAC Fast Response Eye Cream. Obsessed with it. You know. Hi everyone. Okay, so then you put some eye cream on your lower eye area, right? I want to look like a very natural goddess, like real, just natural and pretty, right? So I'm going to go in with my Bobbi Brown Vitamin Enriched Face Base. I throw this in there. I'm obsessed with it. It smells a little like mucho interesting, but I still live. And I keep it on the outskirts because it's such a hydrating face cream that my T-zone might get just a little too oily if I put that in there. Highly suggest it. Kind of pricey. Pretty worth it. I'm just showing you the steps that I do whenever I get ready and I'm like out of town. So one thing that I do like is that it comes with a mirror. So it comes with this big ass mirror and I just put makeup wipes in front of it. So it just kind of, they stay pressed. You can see everything everyone. Like look how big that is. It's like as big as my face. It's a little stand moment. Okay, so now I'm going into my brows. This is the Benefit 24 hour brow setter. You're thinking, Gabriel, would your no brow have an ass? <laughs> Why are you using an eyebrow gel? Is that a pimple? I feel like y'all give me like pimple karma because I love y'all's comments about my skin, but sometimes it's like, girl, you're giving me bad a hole. With my no brow have an ass, I set my brows with a clear brow gel just so that the few hairs that are there stay in place. And when it comes to complexion, like foundation, concealer, this is all I really bring. I know you're probably gonna fight me like, you like don't come for me like just don't like when you find your perfect shade of foundation you're gonna do the same thing and you're gonna travel with it i like to play with other foundations especially when i'm at home because i have like an array of stuff and i can really like mess around but when i'm traveling i know what i know and what i know is that this is gonna do me right i can actually dilute this very lightly on my skin to where it doesn't look full coverage but i can also layer this really well to where it actually is full coverage i've been really liking the Too faced born this way multi-use sculpt concealer in the shade natural beige obsessed with it it's a lot more hydrating than the Tarte shape tape to me personally now if i'm going for a very very light look maybe i'm not even wearing foundation the it cosmetics concealers are super easy to travel with i went to vegas and all i brought was a carry-on bag and i was like gabriel like you're kind of bold like a carry-on bag like you really think that you don't need any type of big thing and bitch, I got away with it. I finessed it, I look stunning, like whatever, right? <laughs> so I just dab it in areas that I know I'm gonna want it. Then with the brush, move your hair out of the way. And I'm not too concerned about taking it too far because basically what I'm doing is I'm diffusing out the product very thinly. And it covers that kind of like slight pinkishness to the skin. It does give you some coverage. Okay, so for concealer, I ended up using shade 31, which is a little light. Not gonna lie, trying to blend that out, you know. Oh, and then it has space for like your little beauty sponges. So these are the two I generally bring. I bring this one. This one is by Juno & Co. It's a yellow one. And then just like a black beauty blender. Who said this? Somebody said that like the black beauty blender has a different texture than like the pink one. With setting powders, these are the three that I suggest to you that I travel with. I know that I just got this one. This is the Nikia Joy Cosmetics Velvet Finishing Powder. The one that I had before was this Laura Mercier Translucent Powder and like look, it's like literally done. I know I'm annoying right now. Like I'm gonna annoy the shit out of you. I have tiny little things of everything. This is a Laura Mercier little translucent setting powder, literally from my Ipsy Glam bag and it's perfect. Like I took the little sifter off so I can just kind of grab whenever I want to. I'm obsessed with it. I also like to travel with a very kind of like yellowy banana color. This one is by ColourPop in the shade Banana. This is a no filter setting powder. Definitely more banana than translucent. And then this one's really good. This is the Urban Decay Velvetizer Translucent Mix in Medium. Oh, it's everything. It's a little bit trickier for people to use, so I don't always suggest it, but I live for it. But right now, just to kind of set everything, I think I'm gonna go with a little banana color. Um, One thing I actually hate about these powders is it has too many holes too, or the holes are too wide. Product keeps falling out. So if ColourPop, you're watching this, this happens all the time. They're horrible to like travel with, but it's a really good powder and I really like the formula. So I'm gonna just set my under eye with that banana. Today, I'm just literally going to go have dinner, I guess, like a late night dinner. I'm gonna go hang out with my mom and my sister. They're in town. So I don't want anything too crazy. Maybe I'm like going somewhere and I want to look pretty or maybe I'm going on a date, which I guess doesn't happen that often because I'm still single as fuck. Oh, see, and it gets everywhere. ColourPop. Nothing compares. Nothing compares to MAC Mineralized Skin Finishes. 
Why is that such a, like, that's cute though. Okay, so we have some MAC Mineralite Skin Finishes, bronzers, best in the world. If you're Latina and you don't use this, like, you probably look ashy as fuck. <laughs> the reason why I'm obsessed with them is because they give you more of like a sun-kissed glow. The lighter one that I use, this is dark golden. And then the darker one that I use, this is dark. So you see the difference? And then just bring it here. One thing that I really like about the bronzer and this red hair is that usually like when I'm blonde and I carry the bronzer into the hair, it looks horribly. But me with red hair, bitch, I can carry it in there and not really even care. A mí me llaman pendeja, pero me encanta la marihuana de vida. Okay, everyone. So now we bronzed it up. I haven't contoured my nose yet, but I did apply some blush. Peaches by MAC. You're gonna fight me again because I know if there's two things that I always use the same, Peaches by MAC, I literally don't use any other blush. And that's fine because I still look stunning, right? So now let's work in with our Z palette moment. This is what it looks like. And basically what's in here is Benefit Bronzers. This is Hula Light, Hula, Hula Caramel. This is Blondie by NARS. This is just a combination of eyeshadows that I've gotten both from ColourPop palettes, um, Kylie Cosmetics palettes, just random browns that I've loved in palettes that I end up tossing and I keep, like a lot of them don't even have a thing on the bottom, see? Like, I don't even know where they're from. And like these shimmers, like when you're on the go, you just never really know. I'm such a fucking poet, dude. Okay, two highlights that I'm obsessed with. These are both from KKW. I know that there's a lot of highlights that I compare to the highlight that I always wear, but this is literally, literally, the highlight that I always wear. This is the KKW Gold Palette. And contour the nose. So for brows, I know that I've said this one a lot and I sometimes get a lot of comments from people saying, why do you use Platinum Blonde even when you're not blonde? And the reason why is because sometimes I want a lighter brow as opposed to such a dark brow. And then Dip Brow by Anastasia in Granite. If you want a tutorial on my two different eyebrows, on like a darker and a lighter brow, let me know down in the comment section down below. We're gonna keep this video pretty quick, pretty easy. Are my eyebrows even? They're kind of like a little uneven because they're kind of quick. I'm only gonna go see family and I feel like family shouldn't judge your like makeup if it looks bad. No, I feel like they should, right? Like they should tell you if it looks bad. Well, they better not tell me anything because if so, then they shouldn't even be my family, right? <laughs> now that I did the brows, I'm just gonna quickly spray the face. I travel with travel size setting spray, so shout out to brands that make travel size stuff. The reason why I do it before curling your lashes is if you curl your lashes and you get them wet, it actually uncurls. It's kind of like hair if you like, you know. And then I also travel with a little Tatcha Dewy Skin Mist. Obsessed, but I'm not gonna be using it today because it's hot as fuck outside and I'm gonna get dewy regardless. Quickly put some eyeshadow on the eye. M433 by Morphe. And I'm just gonna keep it on the lid. Pretty round. And I'm really sloppy on this step because this is just kind of like helping me define the eye. It's not per se doing any like sort of like cut crease, like oh my god. And it's also like bronzer shades because I'm going in with like the hula and the blondie shade. See, and it's just helping like define the eye. It's not more so about like, oh, like I love your eyeshadow. It's more so like, ooh, your overall makeup is so pretty and bronzy. Favorite trick to do is bring that same bronzer, but only keep it right here. If you have downturned eyes like Mine, like, mine go a little bit lower. If I bring that lower lash line too far out, it's gonna drag my eye down still. So we're cheating the structure of the eye because I'm already, I am already like don't have eyebrows and I now I'm cheating eyebrows. So might as well cheat the rest of the face, right? The eye, generally done. Always have an eyelash curler with you. Curl your lashes. Perfect. Now, do I need mascara, mascara today? Okay, I'm probably gonna go in with clear mascara just because it's already pretty late. I don't need anything crazy. The two mascaras that I always travel with, this is the Maybelline Great Lash Mascara. If you're looking to save money and spend your money on maybe a foundation, an eyeshadow palette, and you're wanting to save money, Great Lash by Maybelline. You're gonna be obsessed with it. I live. But I love the MAC Extended Play Giga Black Lash. And the reason why why is because look how tiny that wand is for your lower lash line everything I feel like a lot of people don't always talk about clear mascara because y'all got bald eyelashes and I got pretty good eyelashes so I'm just gonna go in with like a little bit of clear just to help define the lash kind of like keeps that definition for the rest of the day you don't like especially if you have watery eyes you won't have to worry about like oh shit like is it messing up my mascara like see like I just touched my nose but I'm like oh it's clear like it doesn't even matter Perfect. oh this is one primer that I didn't show you like around this time I would probably apply this this is the mic the mic of this is the mic of forever step one base mattifying primer this is the one that you get like at the Sephora checkout section especially if you're being really oily the reason why I had this is because I knew I was going to Vegas and it was really really hot and I didn't want my t-zone to get too oily so if you want to apply like a thin layer on your fingers like disperse it out diffuse it out and apply you're gonna live 
you're gonna live. So you don't even have to use it underneath your makeup. You can actually use it on top. Some extra things that I have in here. These are by Artist Couture. The Diamond Lights Finishers. I'm obsessed with them. Golden Hour. And then this one's Icy Girl. If you want to put on false lashes, I always carry this little nugget. This is by Lily Lashes. This is just an eyelash holder. And this is what it looks like. I just put my lashes in here. And you can travel with three lashes. Comes with a mirror. Super easy. Super convenient. I'll link it down below. Travel with some lashes. Actually, I know I'm obsessed with this one i know this is by duo but the house of lashes one has been kind of like low-key everything then we have a tweezer this is a double-ended tweezer once again in an ipsy glam bag and i live because you can actually tweeze hairs but also it has like a super pointy side like isn't that the most fascinating tweezer like it's a z for zamora i have a tiny little beauty sponge by morphe gloss and lips so this is i'm gonna show you this one first and this is the one i'm gonna apply and you're probably gonna hate me because you literally cannot get this product okay the mac cosmetics nice cheeks crystal glaze glass and then you just oh the lip balm i was like why are my lips so red because of the lip balm if you can't get that one i totally get it i definitely suggest the fenty beauty gloss balm obsessed with it like let's just add a little bit just because why not mm, i know you, you can get this one okay i know you can't get the other one so get this one and then that's it that's literally it i put my little mirror right there and yeah that's pretty much it it has other little compartments right here as you can see just all around oh wait i am so fake and fraudulent i didn't even highlight <laughs> but i'm sure you already knew i was fake and fraudulent right so i'm gonna go in with my highlighter right here i know my family's gonna be like pa quien te arreglaste cabron a donde crees que vas ay perdon no me puedo mirar bien i live bitch tell me i don't look pretty Okay, everyone, I live. It's literally my go-to look. It's super easy, super simple, and it's all products that I really like to travel with. I can take it from full glam to like this light glam. Now, if you want to spice it up, of course, definitely bring an eyeshadow palette. So you can bring something that you can definitely play around with when it comes to color. This is the Jackie Aina ABH collaboration palette. You can definitely throw that in there as well because it's... That's kind of why I like the ABH ones. They're kind of like small, which is ideal. But when I'm traveling, I generally just like a bronzy eye. Like this is like my go-to transition shade type of thing. And I mean, that's all I really need. Like I just like to look bronzy. If you like this video, make sure you give this video a big old thumbs up. If you have any comments, questions, concerns, leave them down in the comment section down below. If you're not already, make sure you subscribe to my channel and you hit that notification bell so you can be notified exactly when I upload a new video. And until next time, bye everyone. Bye everyone.